Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com and these are my top three backcountry big mountain boards from LibTech for the 2020 season. It was extremely hard selecting these three decks, but I think I narrowed it down, hit the nail on the head with this. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree and what other boards you'd put in from the LibTech line if you could switch it up. In random order, starting out with number one, uh, this is the Skunk Ape, an awesome deck that every big-footed rider really knows well. This is an all-mountain free ride deck with a directional twin shape Inside the contact points, the board's actually a twin deck. Center cyclist radius, centered stance. The only thing that makes it a directional twin is that outside of the nose's contact point, uh, the nose is about a half inch longer, just a little bit taller. It features the loosest of the three profile shapes called C2. As you see, it has a good teeter-totter to it. Rocker and a loose feel in between the feet. Camber underneath each foot to the contact point that still provide precision and pop. Uh, this is a great deck that comes in a lot of very, very wide widths. They also have one uh, that's in the 172 centimeter size or 170 centimeter size. It's called the Ultra Wide Skunk Ape and it's 28.5 centimeters in the waist width, which is huge. So anyone with a big foot, you're gonna love this thing, especially for backcountry big mountain stuff. The second one is actually a Travis Rice Pro Model Edition board. It's called the T-Rice Gold Member. It has the exact same outline as uh, what you'll find in the Climax version of the T-Rice. This is just a little bit more price conscious uh, option. This is the All Mountain Free Ride Deck again. Uh, it does have a directional style shape to it. The stands is set back uh, three quarters of an inch, just a little bit. You'll notice it has a pointy nose, a little cutout style tail. Most people who ride the gold member tend to ride it one direction. It has a more aggressive profile shape called C2X. This, the rocker section between the feet, which still gives it a teeter-totter, is a little bit smaller, not as loose as what you find in that skunk ape, but it does feature elongated style uh, camera sections underneath each foot to the contact point that still raises up those contact points. So it's it's fairly easy still to ride this thing in deep snow. Now, uh, I'm gonna wrap this thing up with a Jamie Lynn board. Uh, Jamie was one of my kind of heroes growing up, uh, snowboarding and skating in the early 90s. Uh, this is Jamie Lynn's version. It's called the Titty Fish. It has a, a, a fairly large setback stance of 1.5 inches. This again is an all mountain free ride board, but it features the most aggressive profile shape out of this lineup called C3. It's a camber dominant profile, has a nice arc to it. It's actually fairly high, but there's a slight rocker that's raised off of the snow in between the feet. Uh, if you want a hard charger that, that does well in deep snow because of the nose and tail shape outside of the contact points, this is gonna be a one. You know, we don't always get the time to you know take a heli or go cat riding. Uh, so sometimes you have to like, if you're inbounds and go to the side country, you still have to ride groomed trails. And I really like how the, the titty fish does a great job at riding groomed trails and riding through very, very hard conditions and deep snow. Uh, again, the top three big mountain backcountry boards from LibTech for the season are gonna be this thing, the Jimmy Lynn Titty Fish, the Skunk Ape, and lastly, the T-Rice Gold Member Snowboard. You can see each of these decks at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Leave me a comment or question. Really let me know what do you think of these decks. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more videos there, and hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.